What's good, YouTube? That's what I need to hear. Back again, once again. And today, you guys, we are here to play a little game called Outlast. And it's a game that a lot of you guys have been suggesting that we play for the longest time, but we've had a plan as to how we want to go about this, and that includes Homeboy over here. Homeboy. You're right, guys. This is Homeboy Luke here, and welcome to... <laughs> Outlast. So Outlast has been on the list of games that I want to play for a while now. Like I said, we had an idea of how we're going to do it. And basically the way it's going to go down is every episode, Luke and I are going to take turns playing through the game. So if you guys are hyped, and of course if you're a proud member of the Nappy Nation, make sure you smash out the like button down below for us. Because you already know your support is really appreciated, especially in the beginning of brand new projects like this here on the second channel. Yes, I did say second channel. If you guys are interested in Pokemon related content, link to our main channel is included in the description. And of course, link to Luke's channel on Twitter is there as well, so you can check him out. Yeah! But, um, if you guys know me, you know I'm not a huge fan of scary games. So a lot of you guys might be scratching your head wondering, why is Nappy playing Outlast? It's a pretty scary game. Because I'm not a fan of scary games that just scare you for no fucking reason. Like Five Nights at Freddy's. That just scares you for no fucking reason. Outlast, on the other hand, is a game that has a storyline. There's something behind it. I've, I've, I watched Eat My Addiction play this. I've watched a couple other YouTubers play this. Outlast is great. I cannot wait to get into it, even if I do end up getting scared. You gotta move your elbow. No. You gotta move your elbow. <laughs> no. You gotta move your elbow. <laughs> oh, he's so scared. This does say continue because, fun fact for you guys, a long ass time ago, about a year ago, me, PK, Shady, and a few other people were on Skype, and we were screen sharing us playing Outlast. And I got to the first door. Like, I'll, I'll mention it when we get there. I got to that part, and I was just like, no, I'm done. I'm not doing this. PK got to the same part I did. He took his headset and threw it across the room and got up and ran. Why? Because he doesn't do scary games. He doesn't do scary games. I. No, 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 no. Insane! 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 Normal. Yeah, that. Outlast contains intense violence, gore, graphic sexual content, and strong language. Please enjoy. <laughs> Are you a please enjoy after this? <laughs> you are Miles Upshur, an investigative reporter whose ambition is about to earn him an intimate tour of hell on Earth. Always willing to risk digging into the stories no other journalist would dare investigate, you will seek out the dark secret at the heart of Mount Massive Asylum. Stay alive as long as you can. Record everything. You are not a fighter. To navigate the horrors of Mount Massive and expose the truth, your only choices are to run, hide, or die. Or die. We are recording this in late afternoon, so as the night proceeds or, or progresses... As the episodes progress, the, di the dark is gonna get... It'll get darker and darker and darker, so... Have no fear! I'm sure we will get scared shitless. You already know. Oh god. Yo, it's supposed to be you driving, because I'm gonna drive left to left hand drive. Uh, I don't like this. I like how he only has a quarter tank of gas, too. Okay. Sounds like a great idea. Let's travel up to some crazy insane asylum that's got issues going on with just a quarter tank of gas! Tiny. <sighs> Mount I'm be moving Massive. this whole time. Why is it called Mount Massive? Oh, I don't like this already. I don't know how to react. So I'm just kind of like. I don't like this already! Miles Upshur, of course, is a white guy. No black people are fucking with this stupid shit. Oh no! Don't take it! September 17, 2013. You don't know me. Have to make this quick, they might be monitoring. I did two weeks of software consultant, or consultant, a software consult at Murkoff Psychiatric Systems facility in Mount Massive, all sorts of NDAs, and I am very much breaking right now. All sorts of NDAs, I am very much breaking right now, but seriously, fuck those guys. Terrible things Fine, happening here, don't understand it. Don't believe half of the things I saw. Doctors talking about dream therapy going too deep, finding something that has been waiting for them in the mountain. People are being hurt and Murkoff is making money. It needs to be exposed. No, it doesn't need- you're not the police! You don't need- it's not your job! It's not your responsibility to expose people! It's a good fucking camera. Uh, 
Welcome. You right, guys. This is Game of Luke, and welcome back to another Mount Massive vlog. Today we're gonna be checking out the mansion. Let's see what the fuck's going on. Uh, Here, to, welcome back. <laughs> welcome to Pax East. Uh, I'm never going to Pax East again. We're gonna find me up. Objectives are updated in your reporter's notebook tab, containing your notes and and picked up documents. J. So we have our notes and our documents. We haven't picked up any notes. I'll be playing this on the controller. We'll be switching between the two, so I'll have to learn the controls in the next episode. The whistleblower. That's funny because. No! 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 I want to leave! No! That's not cool. That's no good. Run. Hold, hold, you hold shift to run? Okay, it's good to know. You hold shift to run. Excuse me. So of course. Did you learn how to walk? Asshole. Yeah, we need to look at every single nook and cranny so we can get more batteries and shit. Why are there? Aww. I don't like this. No, no, no. Find the fence. No, I don't. I to open a door. Oh, quickly press have... left mouse button to, to open a s to open a door slowly. <laughs> hold left mouse button. Okay, open. Don't climb it. Right mouse button is to. You can't close this one. Good. <laughs> you don't want to be like hell. Oh, I don't like this. You don't really don't move much faster. There's military vehicles here. Film it. So this is important. We're wasting All right, our so batteries. we're wasting our batteries. Waiting for fans. Um, this is the handheld lounge right now. Okay. All right, good guys. That's, that's, that's a sign. That's a sign right there. If the front door is fucking locked, you're not meant to go in. Come on now. If you're going to a business and the front door's locked, do you go around the side? No. Do you do you do you climb in the back window? Not eight reporter miles. We Fuck find our way that. here. Breaking and entering. <laughs> Alright man, he's some fit as fuck. He's lost Jesus, where's the stamina bar? I'm knackered after running like two feet. Fuck that. Alright. Look at us. It's Why so robotic. Why yeah. do you run so heavy footed? Whoa! Oh, we can jump! <laughs> Fuck yeah! Yo, roly poly through there. Hold left good. Oh no. Oh no. The game is saving. Oh no! Something's gonna happen. All these doors are locked. That's two doors we tried now that are both locked. With the camcorder active, you can zoom in and out with mouse scroll up and down, mouse scroll. Awesome. Are you trying to tell us to zoom in? To the window. This is investigative reporting at its finest right here. Yo, we climbed out of so long. I want to go interview Brian Williams and ask him... What the fuck is that? Ask him if he's ever done anything like this, but it probably would make a difference. He'd probably just lie to us anyways, but... <laughs> but, jump um... Off. I wonder if... You can't. What well, if you jump? Okay, you can't. Okay. Invisible you walls. Can't. They saved why us. Do you, why do you want to kill him? So we don't have to play this game. <laughs> to be honest. Alright, get that one. Go on. Go on. Go for it. Holy fuck, that scared me. Okay, so you can. Alright, so that's the end of this series. Fuck that, nigga. I walked right in. I said, nope. Turned around, went right back out. Fuck that. Oh my god. Right, let's us back in here. Never to mind. activate your night vision camera, press F when your camera is raised. Night vision uses battery life. Manage it well. I'm trying to do I don't really care. Oh my god. Oh my god. You need to put your camera down. Wasting that battery. You look like a waste of battery. Oh, it's funny because Game Boy take batteries. Oh. Shit, the door's not on the wall. I don't like this. I don't like it. Fuck you! Let's get the fuck out of me. I'm so jumpy. There's anyone there? Can you get through that? Just squeeze through. Nope! 
I like someone's following. Yeah, that's right. Oh, I just slammed the door. I Wait, you can like you open this. that? Can you open the files? No. Got a battery though. Batteries used for infrared lighting and camcorder. You can reload by pressing R. Are you sure you can't open that drawer? No, you can't open the fucking drawer, nigga. Oh, that's the door. Okay. Blood stain. Like you already know, that's not a good sign. Stop slamming door! Oh my god, I have to slowly close each door. I don't think you can. Yes, you can. Files, read them. Read them. Murkow Psychiatric Systems Project Wall Rider. Mount Massive. What is CO? Correctional Centrics. Officer? Oh. Correctional Officer, case number. I don't know what that is. Patient initials WPH or Billy. William. This is 2012. Consultant D. Okay. He's 19 years old. Dr. Carl Houston. Therapy status. Patient claims to have progressed to self-directed lucid dream states. Morphogenic engine activ activity observed at unprecedented scale. Continuing stage 4 hom hormone schedule. Diagnostics. Spirometry revealed no bronchial accumulation. Hema hema hematocrit? Hematocrit? I've never seen that. Centrifuge again failed to separate erythrocytes. Highly worrisome. MRI revealed arrhythmic arth Arrhythmic? REM, NREM cycle. Laughter in NREM state. Interview notes. Billy! Oh, Billy! Asked about the status of his mother's lawsuit against Murkov in the asylum. This represents a catastrophic, catastrophic breach in security. Despite Billy's claims that he discovered the truth in the blood dreams of Dr. Traeger. In the blood dreams of Dr. Traeger. Note, the only Traeger on company records, one Richard Traeger, is an executive from MRD. Is that Murkov Research and Development? All orderlies and security personnel must be questioned and video security improved to include analytical biometrics. Markov Psychiatric Systems Project Wall Raider, Mount Massive, Colorado. Oh god. Stop doing that. Music. Do you want me to check this, Luke? Check it! Do you want me to check it? You can't open it, don't worry. See? Now close it. Oh, are you serious? We just have to slam everything. Fuck it! <laughs> just slam all doors we come to! Nigga! <laughs> Say the other way. No. Nope. Fuck that shit! <laughs> slam the door right back. Oh, I can peek? Yo, Duh. wait, he's kind of tan. I don't think he's white. I think he's like light skinned like me, or maybe he's Mexican. Miles, the Mexican? Miles? I feel like that's like one of those Mexican names. <laughs> they locked it behind them. Okay. Okay. Want some cola? It's... No. Okay, large intestines casually on the floor. Slam the door. Slam it! Oh no. There's blood coming out of the ceiling. I'm more concerned about the fucking spider webs. I hate spiders. <laughs> What the flying fuck? If I go back down there, can I go into the other room? <laughs> Do it. I tell you. No, fuck that. You ain't real. I'm not. And I'm perfectly okay with that. Oh no. They're looking for us! Oh no. That's a big fool. Come on. We're saving again. Floor 2, Chapel Recreation Hall, Library, Lobby. There's a dead body. There's a dead body. Okay. There's a dead guy. That's our first dead body that we've seen. Uh, I think this is the part that I got to. Hey, thank you all so much for joining us today for today's episode of Outlast.
Oh no! Oh Jesus! I knew it was there! I knew it was there! I fucking knew it was there! And it still scared the fuck out of me! Stop! Oh my god, I knew it was there and it still scared the fuck out of me. Oh my god, I think it's just the atmosphere that's scaring me more so than anything. I don't know if that was a good idea. What if someone chases us now? We can't fucking run out the door. We have to open it first. Hush, Luke! I don't like it! Oh my fucking... Stop with the music! Please just stop the music! Please just stop the music! I'm stuck <laughs> on a body! That ain't right. <laughs> they killed us. They got out. The variants. You can't fight them. You have to hide. You can unlock the main doors from security control. <laughs> That was important, we just noted it down. To get the fuck out of this terrible place. Who lined up all these heads? What a sick fetish. Who the fuck? No, thank you. Miles, shut up! Stop breathing all heavy in my ear! STOP SLAMMING DOORS! <laughs> Just a, a hand. Okay, so you can... Nope. We have to go in the room that person went into. No, we don't. Fuck that. We should, but we're not going to. Uh, no, now if you don't. No, I'm not going no, in that don't don't fucking room. Don't do it. Little thing. Ah! Oh my god. How did this big ass nigga behind me? I heard him dragging his feet from across the fucking room. Should've gone in the room. Told you. Who is this? And who are you then? No, who are you? You took me out of windows and shit. I... I see. Merciful God, you have sent me an apostle. Guard your life, son. You have a calling. What? I don't like this. <laughs> like people calling me a little pig, okay? I've been on weight loss. I lost 23 pounds. You gotta call me a little pig. Escape the asylum. Access security control to lock the main doors. And your reporter's notebook. Okay. I'm inside. I'm inside. Bodies everywhere. Blood. Burn marks. Heads lined up like bottles behind a bar. Dead Murkoff scientists hung from the ceiling. Their badges say Murkoff Advanced Research System. Murkoff's longtime MO has been to profit off the exploitation of supposed charity. Fuck the third world and bankroll another billion. How did Murkoff think they could make money off a building full of crazy people? There's some kind of tactical cop pinned like a pig on a spit. Tells me to get the fuck out and then dies. Would have been a good thing to hear when I could still leave the way I came. You still can. Well, not anymore. We didn't get anything new. Stop with the noise. Oh my god, it's on lockdown. That's why we couldn't open the front door last time. But still, we're in. Battery. I got a battery. A battery? Can you reload batteries by pushing R? Okay, cool. 
Do that bullshit for Proclaim the gospel. What gospel are we proclaiming? We just casually walk over from one. I mean, he's dead, and they're gonna feel it. A103. Oh, hello. How's it going? He almost got out. Yo, this place is fucking huge. Oh my god. I don't like this very much. No, 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 no. So is that where we got thrown out of? Can we go on the left? Can you get in the room to the left? Can you get like a mon okay, a battery from the Nope, okay. I hear a phone over here, hold on. That's the dial tone. Oh it's a document right there. Oh my god. Oh, what is okay. the button? Oh no. The Murkoff Corporation, United States Office Warrant for Seizure Case Number 29475-8104. In the matter of the seizure of Mount Massive Psychiatric Center, Murkoff Psychiatric Systems, Mount Massive Wilderness Area, Country Road 112. Affidavits having been made before the board of directors by Murkoff Hardline Security, MHS, who has reason to believe catastrophic security failure of psychiatric center with imminent danger of environment contamination. We are satisfied that the affidavits and testimony established sufficient enough and testimony established sufficient enough evidence, I should continue reading, to require urgent action on the part of MHS and grounds for the insurance issuance of this warrant. You are hereby required to grant MHS full access to all facilities and surrender complete authority to its agents. By acceptance acceptance of this document, you and any surviving relatives surrender all claims of litigation against the Murkoff Corporation or its subsidiaries for the actions of MHS or the circumstances which required their actions regardless of their responsibility. A whole page just for the word responsibility. I hate that noise. Every time you let go? Is there a battery? Oh god. Oh god. Yo, where do we go first? Okay, so there's two ways we can go over there. That way's locked off. There is a room over here, though. This looks very security ish. Security ish. Oh, that's with night vision. Okay. <laughs> that's with night vision. It still looks like shit. I don't see anything. Can we get a battery? Can we get a document? I would love to have a document so I can sit and not move. Can we upload these videos from one of these PCs? What is this? This screensaver though. Beautiful. Oh god, look at this door. Look at this door. Document. Give it to me. Murkoff Psychiatric Systems Project Wall Rider, Mount Massive, Colorado. Case number 136. Patient initial CLM or Walker. This is 2013. So we had Billy, who's 2012, and this is Walker, 2013. Observing physician Dr. Rudolf, R Rudolf Wer Wernicke? Wernicke? I Wernicke. think it's Germany. Germany? Germany? I think it's Germany. Germany. German. German. Shut. Shut. Therapy status. Morphogenic engine activity plateaued at roughly 2,000 ppm. Unsafe to progress beyond stage 3 hormone schedule. Diagnostics. Spirometry revealed light to medium bronchial accumulation. MRI scans consistent with patients' reported dreams. Interview notes. Walker was interviewed in restraints following his self-inflicted mutilations. Restraint have had, have had to be altered to accommodate his enormous size. Is that big boy? Is this the guy? We've, yeah. Extensive dermal eruptions as consistent with failed morphogenic engine cellular activity. He claims the skin ripped from his forehead allows for a truer way of seeing. Seems to have some boyhood experience with Tautara lizards and their par parietal eyes. He has expressed anxiety about his flesh, specifically around his lips and nose. Attending orderlies should be advised to watch for further self-mutilation. The mental traumas he sustained while serving in Afghanistan seems to be retarding progression of the ME process. His predominant fixation amplified by therapy is a manic exaggeration of military security protocol. A continuation of both chemical and physical restraints is highly recommended. So do you reckon it's the big guy that he's talking about right there? I think. I mean, he says it's massive size. That's the only yeah. big dude we've seen so far. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. To peak, hold Q or E. Oh shit. 
Hey. Oh no! Oh, this is the other side of that door. Go say hi. I really don't want to. I don't want to do it. I can hear him. No, 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 no. So, you guys, we're going to go wrap up today's episode right here. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed today's episode of Outlast, and of course, if you're hyped for more, and if you're a proud member of the Nappy Nation, make sure you smash that like button down below for us, because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. And next time, Luke will be taking over the control of the Fuck! game. So, uh, as you can see, we said always oh, going to take a couple episodes. It only took one episode. Now it's super duper dark in here. So we'll make sure to get it a little bit lit up for you guys so that you can see our facial expressions and whatnot. But with that, I'm going to get up out of here. Luke has to deal with the scary ass man next time. Thank you all once again for your support and thank you for checking out the video. You know me, it's an Apple 92. Uh, I'm out.